Night preparations are underway for a crackdown aimed at shutting down illicit spas hiding in plain sight in Colorado Springs. It's the first time the city will regulate massage businesses now requiring them to have a license. This comes three years after 13 investigates first exposed some spas that police say are selling sex for money and trafficking women. The new law, which takes effect September 1st, requires massage businesses to apply for a yearly license costing $110, while at the same time outlawing sexual activities in the spas, advertisements for sex, or allowing employees to live inside the businesses. The city clerk's office has sent out nearly 3,000 letters informing massage businesses of the new law. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty visited nearly one dozen spas with sexual reviews or advertisements online to find out if they plan to follow this new law. In strip malls all across Colorado Springs, police suspect as many as 30 massage businesses are selling sex for money. Our human trafficking team spend a lot of time working those. So we rang the doorbells, knocked on the doors. Each business 13 investigates visited, they're open, has sexual reviews or advertisements on websites like Rub Maps or Skip the Games. A massage business license. We wanted to know if they planned on applying for the new license. Well, I, I'm coming here today to ask some questions about the massage business license program. Most weren't interested in talking about the city's new law or said they couldn't. No English. No English. 13 investigates paid for a subscription to read reviews on the website rubmaps.com. Previously, Colorado Springs police said they used the reviews on rubmaps to identify potential illicit spas. Those reviews brought us here. Hi. To New Asian Massage, located in a strip mall off Platte Avenue, just a few doors down from a mom and pop antique shop. We're working on a story about the recent massage business licenses. Is the owner or maybe a manager of this business around? I don't know. You don't know? The masseuse may not be talking, but their customers are. Posted on June 5th on the website Rub Maps, a review starts off like most customer reviews on the website describing a sexual encounter with a female employee in detail. The customer says he would return for another go around, but then says, quote, with these rules for AMP that the city of Colorado Springs is putting out, I foresee most will be closing. The illicit spas themselves certainly are significant because there's, there's a lot of them and, and not a lot of detectives to focus in that realm. Commander Doug Trainer with the Colorado Springs Metro Vice Unit yeah, took over as yeah. commander a little more than three weeks ago. He says the new city law taking effect in September is a great new tool to police illicit spas. It will now be illegal for massage businesses to operate without a license. Prior to the ordinance, vice investigators spent hundreds of hours working on a single spa bust. Despite having sexual reviews online, two spas tell me they fully plan on applying for a license. Do you know if they plan on applying for that license? Yes, I think so, yes. At first, an employee at ANS Spa on East Fillmore closed the door on us. Business license? Do you guys plan on applying for that? But she later answered me through that same door. Oh, yes. You do plan on applying? Yes. Uh, that's excellent. Every applicant for a massage business license through the Colorado Springs City Clerk's Office will be subject to a series of background checks. A license could be denied based on applicants' criminal history, including any conviction related to sexual misconduct or prostitution. But the police unit tasked with overseeing the enforcement of the new law says it won't fix the problem overnight. I, I don't think we have quite the capacity to say that September 2nd we're going to go and, and address all of the 30 different spas or, you know, that's a rough estimate of a number. Um, but it's certainly one of those tools we will use and, and prioritize. Colorado Springs police say shutting down illicit spas requires a community effort and the support of landlords who rent to them. Several businesses that offer massage services are exempt from the annual license. You can find what the exemptions are right now on caradio.com. Dan Beattie, 13 Investigates.